Hi everyone, I'm Mark Regan, Global Director of Artistry and Education for Hourglass Cosmetics, and I am thrilled that you guys are joining us today for the launch of Hourglass's Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. The fabulous Rosie Huntington Whiteley will be joining me very shortly to kick things off, but I want to remind everyone to stay with us until the end because we have a very special surprise for you, for you all to unlock. Now, today we'll be demonstrating four high impact looks by the wonderful Rosie, Jasmine Tooks, Kate Bach, and Chriselle Lim. They'll all be using the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara, and I'll be here along the entire way to share some extra tips and tricks for you all to recreate the looks at home. So I can't wait to get things started. I'm gonna welcome our special guest, Rosie Huntington Whiteley on now. She's gonna help us bring the mascara to life so you can actually see the impact for yourself. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Mark, how are you? So good, it's so good to see you. You too, I feel like we've been so far apart <laughs> for so long, so it's great to see you like this. We have. <laughs> It's literally the longest we've gone without <laughs> seeing each other in person over the last year. Uh, well, you know how excited I get well, about a new I'm, product launch from Hourglass. So I am yes, so excited yes. to talk more about this mascara. You sent it to me maybe three or four weeks ago. And I have to say, it's a real game changer. I've never tried anything quite like it. So I'm definitely excited to kick this off with a look and walk everybody through the tutorial. Yeah, so what's the theme of your look today, Rosie? So I'm going to do sort of a high-impact smoky eye look, one that I would probably wear out in the evening or perhaps even in the daytime. I'm going to be using some of my favorite products, and I'm very excited to share them. Awesome. And just let everyone know what you already have on that you applied off camera, and then we'll jump into it. So I've already applied the Vanish Foundation Stick, the Vanish Concealer, and a brow using the Micro um, Arch Pencil. So now we can kick off with the color and the fun stuff. Yes, you know how much I love this. This is a game changer <laughs> as well since we launched it at the beginning of the year. I love, love, love this. So definitely um, recommend that. All right, well, let's jump into it. Show us your first product, show us how you like to use it, and we'll just get things started. Okay, I'm gonna start off by using one of the Scattered Light eyeshadows. And I love these because I'm not great at doing an eye look. So, and the way I like to apply these really is by using my finger. So I just dip into the pot and I'm using this in, I have mine yeah, too. I'm using this in smoke. Mark, how many colors are now in the collection? We have nine in the permanent collection. Sometimes we pulse in some, some exclusive during holiday, but we have nine now and they are so gorgeous. I love how they just glide on too. Yeah, so I'm literally just... So you can see, yeah. I mean, you're applying it with your finger. I just like to push this. I like to push these on because I find like with the um, formulation, it's best to use your finger to really kind of push it into the eyelid. So I'm just gonna roughly Agreed. push it into my eyelid first, and then I'm gonna perfect it with a brush afterwards. And that's my tip for everyone. So with scattered light glitter eyeshadows, really you get maximum payoff when you just use your fingers to place it where you want it. And then when you want to create that diffused, beautiful finish to your eyeshadow, you just take a fluffy brush. It could be something like our number 14 or a number six. And Rosie's going to demonstrate for us, but that just, it actually finishes off the edges of the eyeshadow. It makes you look much more of a pro than you may actually be, but it makes it so easy. So you can see, I mean, really, I could just do it with my finger but and now I'm perfecting the edges like you mentioned with the brush. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit more. And what I love about these eyeshadows as well is you can build the intensity. So you can really get in mm -hmm. there and continue to add. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing too, while you're finishing up the other eye, Rosie, is that if someone wants to use this to layer on, maybe it's more of their special occasion shadow. It can absolutely be for every day because it, it definitely is a sophisticated sparkle, but maybe they want to reserve it for 
an evening out or just a special occasion, you can layer it right on top of any other shadow. So let's move on to mascara. Let's do it. I know you want to show everyone the impact. So first of all, whilst I'm applying this, I want you to talk to me a little bit about the H on here with the bunny, because this symbolizes what the Unlocked Collection is all about. Yes, yes. And I'm so glad you bring that up. So the H bunny that you see here on the bottom of the mascara, that signifies our Unlocked Collection. And the Unlocked Mascara is the first permanent addition to this Unlocked Collection. 5% of the profits from this collection are donated to the Non-Human Rights Project. And they are a US-based organization that is solely dedicated to litigating for fundamental rights for non-human animals. So it really speaks to our purpose. We've always been a cruelty-free brand. At the year's end, this year we're gonna be 100% vegan, so it's a really exciting moment for it's us. It's incredible. I love how much Hourglass gives back. It's really amazing. And I also want to point out the molded brush on this. Whilst I'm applying as well, you can talk the audience through the molded brush because this is really what makes this mascara yeah. amazing. Thanks for bringing that up. So you can see one with Rosie applying it. She's just using sweeping motions. So typically with mascaras, the first thing we want to do is wiggle at the base of the lash and, and try to build up the volume. This is all about the length. So the way that this was designed is that molded wand, it has perfectly spaced bristles. And what those do is they pull and weld the product right in between the bristles. So as you use those sweeping motions, look at that. Oh my gosh. And I just, it looks so good. What I love the most about this mascara is the lift that it gives my eyelashes. So it's like instant lift, it gives de definition and it gives length. And I just, I find it really yep. truly is like wearing eyelash extensions. You know how much of a fan I am of eyelash extensions. So I was really excited yes. about this launch. I'm going to move on to the other side. And I like to use... And honestly, that was the inspiration for the mascara, Rosie, was lash extensions with ease. And I like to use, I think the trick with this mascara is like long sweeping motions as opposed to wiggling it back and forth. You really want to just kind of slowly mm -hmm. apply it and allow yourself to coat every single eyelash slowly. And a tip for all of you who have straighter lashes, definitely curl your lashes first. It's super important because the mascara is then going to extend the length but maintain that curl. What you want is maximum lift so that it really looks like an eye opening effect. Okay, done. I'm going to move on to the next so good. the next product, which is, this is a tip that you taught me when we first started working together. And again, a real game changer, a great way to complement the um, mascara. But I'm going to be using the mechanical 1.5 eyeliner in um, Obsidian, 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 how do you say it, Mark? Obsidian, Obsidian. yeah, Obsidian. And this is a little bit, um, I find this like a little bit tricky. It often makes me sneeze, but basically I'm going to line the <laughs> um, upper water line on the inside. So you definitely want to be gentle, but just using little wiggling strokes underneath the eye. And this is going to really make the eyelashes pop and define your eye shape even further. And it's like a hidden trick. Absolutely. I mean, I always recommend this, especially, you know, sometimes people have sensitivities and they have a hard time gliding the liner right on top. When you tight line with this, with the 1.5 liner, it actually glides on really easily and it intensifies the overall look of your lash line. That's what I really like is it adds that extra depth. But you can do it in any color. We have blue, we have brown, we have bronze and all of them complement the eyes because they're meant to just go right into that waterline and define. So it really enhances the shape. Okay, so next we're gonna be moving on to another one of my favorites, the Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. Look at this baby, how beautiful is that? It's one of my favorites. <laughs> They're almost too beautiful to use. It really is. But I'd love you to explain to me because there's so much technology in the, in the powders from Hourglass. So 
it re explains to me. I think right. this is something the audience really should know about, and then we can talk about how I'm going to apply it. Okay, perfect. So the ambient collection, the, the entire collection uh, has this very special technology. It's called photoluminescent technology. And what that is, is they are filters in the powders that filter out harsh light. So it's this optical illusion. It automatically smooths out the skin. It blurs the complexion. And then with the blushes and the bronzers, the reason they have that marbling effect to them is because they're all hand mixed using a technique called the Michelari technique, and they're all handmade, handmade in Italy. So you get that perfect blend of the blurring powders with blush and bronzer pigments, and they're just, they're so easy to apply too. So you see how I basically just smoothed that all over the skin. Um, one tip that I like to do with blush is whatever's left on the brush, just to brush it over the bridge of your nose. And then my final little tip that I like to always do is to take little eyeshadow brush and pop a little bit of that blush into the socket of your brow. And this I find just pulls all the colors together across your face. And if you have blue eyes like me, any kind of pinky tones are gonna make your eyes pop even further and it complements any eyeshadow look. Okay, next. It just balances it yeah. all, it looks so seamless. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> I try without you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be moving on to the ambient lighting powder palette. This is an essential, this is one of the hero products of Hourglass, again, using the same technology for the powders. Tell me more about this. I can't live without this palette. You know that every time we do makeup together, I always use this. I know, I mean, I have one in the bottom of every handbag. I've told you that. <laughs> so how do you like to use it, Rosie? Well, what I love about this palette is it complements all of the other ambient lighting powders. So I really just like to sweep this all across my complexion. And this is gonna give me, like you said, that blurring effect, that luminous sort of lit from within skin and almost like makes you look like you're sat in candle glow. But I just love yeah, how love it also that. blends all those powders. So you can correct with this powder, you can touch up throughout the day, and it's just gonna give your skin that like silky luminous glow, which I'm always trying to achieve. And that's it. <laughs> it's that easy. It's one of those things that is undete undetectable. Mm -hmm. So people will ask, why does your skin look so good? Because you can't actually see the powder sitting on the skin. So last product, my signature confession lipstick in You Make Me. These lipsticks are like no other. I mean, first of all, let's talk about the packaging. It's just heavenly and all the packaging is refillable. So you can click out the lipstick, click in another one. And um, it's almost like a keepsake, these lipsticks. Absolutely. So, and then of course that's... One of the things I love, I, sorry, Rosie, one of the things I love about it is the shape uh -huh. of the applicator. And I know that you really make use of that. I love it because the slim line means it fits perfectly onto my lips and I can really define and shape my lips in a really quick, easy way. I can use the edge of it to really line my lip line and this formulation is like literally a few swipes across the lips. It's got such intense pigment in it. And they're so comfortable to wear. You really only need one coat, right? Yeah. Just perfecting it. I love that shade. Your signature shade is such a wearable, beautiful, warm, warm neutral almost, but it has a depth to it. It's just a great everyday color. Yeah, so it's like this perfect so terracotta sunny. nude color. Can take me from day to night. I like to push it in, in the daytime, just to take away the shine a little bit, make it more undone. And then in the evening, I love to let it really be mm -hmm. really shiny and beautiful. And sometimes after I've got it on my finger, I tap it onto my apples of my cheeks as well because it's such a beautiful color for blush. That's a good tip. Yeah, I mean, the great thing about Confession is there are so many different ways to use it, exactly like you were saying. Either you're blotting it in, you're using the precision tip to actually give extra volume and shape to the outer edge. 
there are different ways that you can actually use it. And, and if you don't have, have a lip liner or a pencil, you're kind of pinched for time. This is a great, great lipstick to have in your handbag. Well, there you have it. That is my look. You look <laughs> stunning and I love that it's just effortless and impactful at the same time. That's what I think is the epitome of our products. It's so our true. Glasses. You can do so little and make such a big mm -hmm. difference. Effortless and impactful. Words Thanks, to live Rosie. by. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am going to welcome our next guest, the beautiful Jasmine Tooks. Hi there. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Jasmine. Good to see you guys. We're so excited to have you. I'm so excited to be here. So you're going to share with us one of your favorite looks, and what is that? All right, so today I'm going to show you guys my favorite bronzy, glowy look that I love to do. Um, of course, with some helpful tips from you, Mark, that I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And before we get started and jump into your tips, what do you have on your face already that you may that you applied before coming on the camera so that we know? Yeah, so currently I have on the Vanish Foundation Stick. And I also have already applied the scattered light and burnish on my eyelids. You can see a little bit there. And then I just went ahead and brushed up my brows with the arch brow. It's beautiful. I gotta admit, you already look fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Skin looks amazing. <laughs> but let's let's jump into it. Let's go into your first step. All right. So my first step, I'm gonna be using the airbrush concealer and I'm just going to take this and dab like a couple little dots under my eyes just to really brighten it up a bit. And I'm going to just buff it out with this brush. The one thing that I have fallen in love with about this concealer is that it's very buildable. And also I have a really hard time finding the perfect tone for my skin like i always have to mix things and play with it but this one is maple and it is literally spot on with my skin tone um but i will say sometimes throughout the day i'll travel with two different colors um mm. in case i have any dark spots that i want to lighten or you know different things that i want to touch up but this maple color is the most perfect shade and it really just brightens under my eyes for those tired days <laughs> that we all have I can see how much we all have them, and I, I think that's. I was it's just, just saying so I can absolutely. see. Absolutely, it looks I think beautiful. that's such a great tip. Mm -hmm. I travel with. Two, I always have two colors with me as well. It makes it so much easy to bring that light and dimension across your face when you have two colors. Yeah, it's so easy to bring them on the go and just kind of play around with them. And you barely had to try when you were blending it in. Yeah, I know it smooths out so quick and so easy. Literally, I just kind of like buffed it with a little brush and. I mean, it looks pretty nice and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to set All right, so what's the next step? Yeah, so to set that in, I'm going to go in with the powder. And I like to take this dual-ended brush and then I'm just going to the veil powder brush. The veil powder brush. I'm just going to go under my eye. Same on this side. And then I tend to get pretty oily on my chin. A little oily up here so i like to also mattify that take it up here as well and this is a veil translucent setting powder yes, that you're it using is a veil translucent setting powder and what i love about this one is that when i apply it it doesn't look powdery it still looks mm. like my skin and it looks like real and keeps the natural glow which is what i'm always trying to achieve i never like when skin looks really dry so i like that even when I apply this in these little hot spots on my face, I still kind of maintain a nice soft glow. I can see instantly how it's taken back oh, the shine, but it ha you, your skin hasn't lost any luminosity. And I, when I wear that uh, powder, I feel exactly the same. It's so rare to find a powder that doesn't just kind of like mattify you and take, right. away, the, to take away the luminosity, but your skin looks perfect now. Thank you. Um, okay, next. All right. So are we ready for the mascara? My new 
favorite, the unlocked mascara. I mean, a lot of the time, I'm always looking for mascara that will, you know, lengthen my eyelashes and make my eyelashes look like I'm actually wearing uh, extensions. And with this one, I found that it literally does that with one swipe of my eyelashes. And I have very, very fine lashes. Like sometimes when I don't have mascara, it looks like I don't even have any. <laughs> so when I discovered this <laughs> magic wand here, it really, I think, just lifts my eye and transforms my lashes and makes it look like I have, you know, something going on there. So I've really fallen in love with this one. And I also think, you know, what you and Rosie were saying as well is that the longer swipes with the brush really benefit better than, you know, shaking it like you would do a normal mascara. Mm -hmm. And you really only need one coat. Right. I mean, you can always do two coats, but one coat is really all you need to see the length. Yeah. And do you find yourself using different parts of the wand? So yes, on my inner corner here, I like to use like the little top of the tip here. And then on the outer corner, I love the shape of it, how it goes from like from small to like wider. And it just really mm -hmm. like fits perfectly with my lashes. And gives a nice little lift. Boom. <laughs> Boom. She's here. <laughs> Alrighty. Awesome. So now all right, so what's the next tip you have for us? Well, my next tip I actually learned from you, Mark, and it's to take the scattered light, which I have on my eyelids, and actually apply it here to my cheekbone to create a nice glow. Oh. So what I'm gonna do, uh, Mark is so smart, he taught me this little trick. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger, <laughs> <laughs> just rub it onto my hand there. Maybe I'll take a little more. And then I'm gonna take the Veil setting spray. And I'm gonna give a little spritz on top of it. I mean, you can already see that glow is just unreal. And then I'll take my dual ended brush again, give a little sweep there, and then just apply it to my cheekbone. And it gives the most gorgeous, luminous glow. And every wow. time I do this, I, like I'll keep putting it on and I have Pull so myself good. back and be like, stop adding so much because I just think it's the most beautiful color. And I think the trick with using the setting spray is so smart. That is such a good tip. I well, never whole... even thought of that, Mark. Right? It's so pretty. Rosie, you got to try I that. I am next. running home and trying that yeah, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the great thing is that. Really, the idea is taking something that you love and translating it for a different part of the face. And that's what the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray does. So one is using colors that you like that maybe weren't designed for that purpose. Two is using the right brush. Mm -hmm. So Jasmine using that soft, fluffy brush on the, on the other side of the veil, that really makes a difference because then you're not looking splotchy. It has a really nice blend to it. So. All of those things work together really nicely. You look stunning. I love it. This glow, like, honestly gets me every time. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> you can actually see it. It's, yeah. it's incredible. And then, do you ever use the scattered light eyeshadow, Jasmine? Just maybe targeting the little inner tear ducts, the inner corners of the eye, yeah. just to highlight and open up. Yeah, we can brighten that up. The features. I love this look when you put it in the inner corner because it really just like makes it look awake mm -hmm. and also you know, when the light hits your face at different angles. It really just like brings that little sparkle to your eye. And it elongates your eye as well. Exactly. I think we always think of like lengthening our eyes from the outer corner, but you can really right. lengthen your eyes from the inner corner right. as well. So you can get real length that way. It looks so beautiful on you, Jasmine. Very pretty. I love Thanks, it. Thanks, Mark. I always love your tips. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, I think you have one more step in this look that you're going to show us. Yes. So my final step is to use the Confession Lipstick in the shade At Night. And the way that I'm going to apply this today is I'm just going to do like a little bit of kind of like 
a messy swipe. <laughs> and then I like to take my finger and just kind of like press it into my lip so that it has like more of a natural kind of stain. Um, and this is something I usually do during the day. At night, I would, you know, take the lipstick and put it on properly so that it's a bit more, um, has a bit more color to it and a bit more shine. But I really like the look that it gives when you just kind of messily press it in. Mm -hmm. It looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. At night is one of our best selling colors. So it's just such an approachable, deep tone, but it doesn't look overly it, it it doesn't look overly dramatic you really can flex right, it. it's I, i'm obsessed with this color it's like my everyday <laughs> i love it well you look fantastic thank you for sharing your tips for your bronzy glowy look and we will have you back later for our q a all right see you guys later thanks jasmine i learned something new thanks jasmine <laughs> thank you <laughs> Now we are going to welcome our next guest, Kate Bach, who is joining us from New York. Hi, Kate. Hi, how are you? Hi, Kate. Hi. So good. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So you're going to share uh, share with us some of your tips. What look are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to do a really glowy look. It's summertime. I just like to have a fresh face and just really focus on my eyes and my lashes. Okay, so before we jump in, what have you already applied? So my everyday kind of base is the Veil Mineral Primer and the Illusion. I mix them together. They both have SPF and they just give me a really nice layer to base my skin with. And then I add. I also put on... I like that you mix them together, Kate. Yeah, it's made one step and it just goes on really yeah. smoothly and seamlessly. I really like how it works. And then I add the veil retouching fluid just for my under eyes or any red spots that I want to cover and a little lip balm. Nice, super simple, really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to jump in. Yeah, so I start, I have brows, but they're minimal. They're a little sparse. So I love the Hourglass Arch Micro Sculpting Pencil. It's a really skinny end, and I find that's really easy for me. So I brush my brows up, and then I use the pointy end here to really just paint in each individual little hair to fill my brows in and keep a really natural shape, which is kind of enhance the impact of my brow, because I really find a full brow helps shape your face and really like finish a look. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I love that 1.4 millimeter tip because it gives you so much precision. I mean, you can go full on with it if you want, but it's great when you just have those very specific sparse areas that you want to fill in. Exactly. It's also a great color for blondes. I, I use the blonde pencil and it's, it's the good. It's not too dark, not too light. It just kind of blends in with my hair color perfectly. So I fill those, brush them up, and then my hairs are actually sparse but long and they love to fall during the day. So I have to gel mine down. I use the Arch Brow Gel. It's clear and it just keeps them in place so that they don't fall throughout the day because that is one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> are you using it the in a blonde the or the clear? Fiber gel Sorry. So good. I was just asking if you're using Please. it in blonde or the clear color. The clear color. Yeah. Just to hold them in place. They look great. Kind of make Love it. It's a great you. match for your hair color. So simple. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my next step is mascara. I give my lashes a big curl and then I love this unlocked mascara. I have blonde lashes. I feel like you can't even see them unless I'm wearing mascara. And this really just enhances my shape, gives my eyes like a big impact. It helps really enhance my eye shape. And I brush from kind of the base until the tip on either. And then to find any little like micro spots that I've missed, I just do an extra little bit of the tip on my very ends. Cause again, my lashes are blonde and I really find if I hit the very ends, it helps make them feel much longer. 
Well, and the great thing about this is if you are someone who wants that second coat, make sure you do it before that first coat sets because once it sets, it's kind of locked into place. So build up that length, get it in there, and then you're good to go for the rest of the day. I mean, you love to work out, Kate, right? So have you worn this through any of your workouts and has it made it through? I've had this, I think, for three weeks or so now. I've been wearing it every day. I work out, I sweat. It stays in place. I don't end up with any black under my eyes. And when I do want to remove it at the end of the day, I just use warm water. I'm not rubbing my face like crazy. I feel like it's better for my, mm -hmm. my eyes to not be kind of like rubbing so intensely every day. The tubes really come off super easily and it's a really clean mascara. I also love that it's vegan and cruelty free. I'm an animal lover. If you follow me, you see my dog all the time. And I just love that with every yeah. mascara you're giving back. Love it. Love it. So what else uh, are we gonna do for the eyes besides the mascara? Yeah, so my next step is the 1.5 millimeter mechanical pencil in bronze. I have blue eyes and I find just doing a little layer of this on my eye line. I am not like a professional with a, an eyeliner. So I just apply it along the lash line and then I'm gonna blend it in. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's super easy to apply and it really just gives your eyes an extra pop. So here we go. I love I love bronze in 1.5. I think it's such a beautiful color. It also is a great color if you want to define the lower lash line. If you don't want something that's so dark and looks a little too harsh, no. go for something like bronze because it just gives you that right amount of definition and it'll never look overdone. Yeah, I think it just gives an extra little pop without feeling like you have too much makeup on. It just gives a little twinkle. And then you blend it out, right? So yeah. you're, you're not too worried about getting that perfect line. Exactly. Use a little smudge brush like our number 11 and it just buffs it out and you still get the definition, but you don't have to be perfect. Exactly. And to continue on my bronze <laughs> path, I'm gonna use this double-ended brush. And this is my favorite luminous bronze light from the Ambient Collection. It has such beautiful gold tones in it. It really gives me a nice bronze feel. So I just apply kind of to where the sun hits me on my cheeks, up here on my hairline and my nose, and then do a light coat all over just to make sure I'm not uneven. I, and Kate, you're not the only one who's a fan of this bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> right, Rosie? Oh yeah. Bronzer is one of my like day-to-day -day essentials. I love this bronzer so much. It just hits the skin so beautifully. It's gonna give you that warm luminosity. I can see already it's like pulling Kate's face together so wonderfully and she looks like golden goddess. And it's that just so awesome. quick and easy to Absolutely. use. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to finish it off, this euphoric fusion ambient blush I love also, it's got some gold hues in it. I use the smaller end of my brush and I do the smile trick, little smile and do the apples of my cheek and just bring it up a little bit. Well, and a tip I have for people because we always get that question as makeup artists, where do I apply, apply the blush, but also how do I make sure it's super blended and looks like it's seamless into my complexion? The thing is always start with less. And if you have to, you can even press the product into the brush hairs and then it'll release gradually into the skin. It gives you a lot more control. So start with less, add more as you need. <laughs> Definitely think Mom. it helps so for you to <laughs> do dots on your cheek. That's a great tip. I'm known for being quite heavy handed with my makeup and Mark has taught me all about <laughs> light, gentle strokes, less is more, build it up and so I love hearing him repeat that tip again because it takes me back to the first time we work with one another. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still consistent. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks so pretty. It's so easy. And I think blush and bronzer is what brought everything to life. Totally. So I love that those two steps mm -hmm. really brought it together along with the mascara. Thank you. Thanks for sharing all those tips with us, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Gorge. Thank you. Uh, and we will see you later for the Q&A as well. So hold tight and we'll have you back on. See you in a sec. Next up, 
All right, next up we have the wonderful Chriselle Lim. Hi, Chriselle. Hi, Mark. Hi, Chriselle. Hi, Hi, darling, how are you? I'm really good, it's so good to see you guys. You too, how are the babies? Likewise. You know, mom life, it's different every day. <laughs> you know that, Rosie. <laughs> It's a real balance, right? Working from home, keeping the business going and having the kids running around. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so Chriselle, what look are you going to be sharing with us? So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I get really glowy, kind of like a luminous skin look because, you know, during the week I don't wear that much makeup, but I really put a focus on my skin because I'm on Zoom calls all day and I really want my skin to radiate radiate through the camera. Awesome. So let us know what you have on first before we jump into it. So I already have my base on. So I started off with the Veil Mineral uh, Primer, the Vanish Stick and the Vanish Concealer. Like that is my go-to um, and my Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. Awesome. Well, it looks great already, but I know we're going to take it up a notch, so let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to start off with this guy. I am in love with this guy. This is the Ambient uh, Lighting Powder, and, and what I love most about it is I do not like the matte look, but the problem that I have is I'm slightly oily, so I don't want to look in, like matted down. So I need to find a powder that still gives me that glow without looking too matte, but still matting me enough so I'm not like, you know, looking oily on camera. So I love that this uh, powder, it just gives you this really nice glowy sheen to your entire face. And this is the brand new ambient lighting infinity powder you're using. Yes. So it's a new special item that we have. And, and I know someone else who loves it. <laughs> obsessed, obsessed with this powder. I can see already <laughs> through the camera how glowy that's making your skin look. Right? Yeah. 100%. Yep, and this is, you know, my go-to every day, especially because I just get oily, but again, I just mm. still want to look dewy and glowy. And then the next is blush. And this is my go-to color, which is Radiant Magenta. It's like a very rosy pink color. And how I like to apply my blush is, because I have a longer face, um, so instead of like doing this up and down sweeping motion, I actually like to apply my blush more like straight across. Mm. Um, and it mm -hmm. kind of just not only pops my cheekbones. You can really see the luminous glow, mm. Chrisel, and that is again going back to the blush tips. So. One of them is start off with less and then build up as you go. The other is placement. And I think that people forget blush placement can help balance out your features. So depending on your face structure, let that guide you on where you place it and how you want your features to be enhanced. And what you're doing is such a smart tip to just work across because you're kind of giving balance to the dimensions of your face. And I also even like to sweep it over my nose. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I'm not getting enough sun, so it just looks like I'm getting, <laughs> I have a little bit of like a sun glow, like a sun tan situation. Um, but do you guys see how it just kind of makes this area pop? And for me, I think um, as I get older, you know, for me, like this area gets flatter. So having this kind of glow here, like it just gives volume to my face. Which I Beautiful, Chriselle. It looks stunning. <laughs> and then yes. my next is, hands down, my secret to faking the glowy skin, um, which is this guy. You guys know this palette very well. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. This is, this is. I, I've made this uh, proclamation before about this palette. It is by far the best highlighter I have ever used. So this is just, it is not for the faint of heart, I always tell people. Like if you really want a pop, a good highlight, this is the only highlighter that 
you actually need. Um, I don't know about you, Mark, but I kind of just like blend all the colors together and it just kind of works for me. Um, I do the same. Well, I kind of use it the way you would use our ambient lighting palette. So this is the ambient metallic strobe. It gives that intense highlight, but I do the same thing, Chriselle. Okay, so I'm gonna add Okay, so I'm gonna add this. Wow. Ooh, you guys see that? Crazy, right? Wow. Okay. I remember the first time Mark used this on me, I was blown away by the pigment in this highlight palette. It's, I mean, look at you. And what's so amazing is it looks almost like dewy wet, you know, it's got yeah. that effect to it, but it's right. powder. It's powder. It looks incredible, oh, yeah. Um, okay, and then now onto the mascara, the Unlock Extension Mascara, which is so good for my thin lashes. Um, Mark, you know my kind of situation with my lashes. It's very thin and delicate. So any product, it kind of like weighs it down. But this has a way of just kind of mm -hmm. giving me that length and the volume that I need without having to like overdo it. So, right. Okay. So I like to when they do a Go ahead, full Crystal. coat first. And then a trick that Mark taught me was because I have such thin lashes, right? I go in with kind of the different angles of the brush and give mm -hmm. each baby lash kind of its own attention, which actually has helped my lashes look a lot. It helps finish off that look, right? So when you coat from root to tip, what it's doing is it's really taking advantage of the entire length of the lash and you're not focusing just on the base. So it is important that you use different parts of the wand so that you finesse those little details because that's what makes the biggest impact. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's one side. And yeah, it's, I have to agree. It does make a difference. It makes such a big difference. I have such a hard time with finding a mascara for my lashes okay. because it's hard for any mascara to like kind of show the length um, with my kind of thin lashes. And this really does it for me. Okay. And then I also kind of add a little bit on the bottom as well. Oops. Has it ever happened to you? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Real life. <laughs> Real life. Real life. Okay. That looks amazing, Chriselle. Thank you. Gorgeous. So I, I think you have now. one more step for us. Ready right? to conquer the day. And then my last one <laughs> is this guy, which is the Confession Lipstick. And my go-to color is I Am. It's again, slightly kind of a, a mauve pink. I love this color. It's my second favorite. So pretty. And because of the shape of it, it's so easy to apply. Yeah. Like, they tell me it was just like within five seconds and I'm done. And that's it, guys. Love it. You look gorgeous, Chriselle. You're ready for your next Zoom She's call. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we need to hang out or I should go somewhere, but obviously we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you look great for the kids and you look great for your next video call. So you're ready to go. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Chriselle. Thank you. Well, don't go too far. Sit tight because the first question that I'm going to be asking real soon is for you and Rosie. But I want to remind everyone that I want you to stick around because we have that special surprise to reveal to mm -hmm. you at the end of our event. So don't go anywhere. Okay, let's jump into the questions. So the first question is for Chriselle and for Rosie, and it's from Angela. As a mom, what's your number one product you cannot live without? Rosie, you go first. I know mine right away, a concealer. I mean, I think being a busy mom and busy uh, with my work and just running around, I need a concealer that's going to work for me that's super easy. I can touch up throughout the day. So the Vanish Concealer has been 
truly a game changer for me since it launched in January. I haven't worn foundation. I literally just use this concealer because it gives me such incredible coverage and I can apply it to any areas across the face. So concealer, concealer, concealer for me. <laughs> awesome. That would be that would be where I would start to. <laughs> I mean, I have to agree the concealer is a great start. Um, but since Rose already took that, I have to say it would be my blush because mm -hmm. for me, I always wake up with my skin looking a little flat. So it just gives me the perk that I need. And I feel like when your cheeks are rosy and your eyes are a little bit colored in, it you just look a bit more alive. And for me, that's been my trick. And I learned this trick from you, Rosie, when um, we met up a while ago, that you take your blush here and then you just sweep it onto your kind of the sockets of your eyes. Then you have eyeshadow and blush. And what I also like to do is I like to just rub it onto my lips if I'm oh. you know, so. a That's three a for one. one. <laughs> three for one. Multi-purpose. That's what we love exactly. about. Gotta love a multitasker. Exactly. Love it. Those are great tips. Thanks, guys. And if I were to give you a tip, I would say do both. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick one over know, the other. So... Do, do concealer <laughs> and pop a little blush on. Choosing one product for it as a mom, I'm like, ah, oh, there's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Chriselle. Thank you, guys. Good seeing you. Thanks, Chriselle. Good to see you. You too. Okay, the next question is for Jasmine, and this is from Ray. How can I achieve? How can I achieve your gorgeous glow without looking too shiny? Ooh. Well, I'm always all about the glow, and I think the best way to achieve it without looking shiny is to apply the Veil Translucent Setting Powder just on your T-zone. And then I think the key to keeping the glow is having the Veil Finishing Spray and just using it kind of like on your cheekbone right here and, you know, making the glow really stand out there. I think that's my tip <laughs> without looking too shiny, but also, you know, looking fresh and glowy. That's a great tip. I think it's really about the balance, right? You don't want to completely take away all of your dimension. And that's why people have fallen in love with our Veil Translucent Setting Powder, because you don't lose the radiance, but you do control that unwanted shine. Right. And yeah. that's the key to having a controlled, glowy look. Yeah, I love that I can, you know, take the spray and literally direct it exactly where I want. I don't have to spray my whole entire face. Mm. Awesome. Great tip. Thank you for that Another tip, Another great Jasmine. tip, Jasmine. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Check. Great we need tip to do our makeup two. together more number often. Three, actually. <laughs> the next question we have is for Kate. So Kate, this is from Juliet. Mm -hmm. What is a game-changing beauty tip that you've learned most recently? So a game changing beauty tip, I would say I'm not someone who's always wearing a lip color and on my day to day, I don't want to do a full lip, but I have found the panoramic lip liner in Eden for me is the perfect color. So I like to just line my lips, perhaps overline a little bit, just to enhance them and give a little bit of a stronger impact to my lip shape, put some lip balm on and it really just helps enhance my natural color and keeps everything looking kind of clean and glowy and natural, but just a little bit of a stronger, more impactful look. That's a great tip. And it's a great way to trick the eye to just have a little bit fuller lip, but not look overdone. I think that's the key, right? It's a, it's a balance of how much you put on and how much you extend that lip line. Exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. We really appreciate you being on here with us, Kate. Of course. Thanks for having me. And for our final question for Rosie, Gemma asks, what is your go-to trick for making your eyes pop even when you're tired? <laughs> okay, so this is like every day, basically. I would start with, <laughs> <laughs> I would start with the Veil Eye Primer, and I love this. I actually wear it on its own. It just brightens oh, yeah. instantly the eye area. And then of course the Vanish Concealer, and then 
unlocked mascara, of course, making sure to curl your lashes. For me, like I always want to curl my lashes. I did earlier off camera before I applied the mascara, but that is really essential and that's going to make your eyes pop. And then that tip, the blush in the eye sockets, it's always going to work for you. That Those are great tips. It's all about taking out the tiredness and brightening up the eye and then giving you a little definition. So great tips. Okay, Mark, so can you finally share the surprise? I'm dying to know. Yes, yes, I will, I will finally share the surprise. It is that we want you to celebrate the launch of Unlot Instant Extensions Mascara with us. And so for attending this event, you will all be receiving a special promo code in your emails so that you can shop all of these looks that you saw here today and recreate them at home. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, I hope the audience is- Yeah, we want yeah. everyone to take part in this. Absolutely. I hope the audience loves the products as much as we do. They're truly incredible. And I hope everybody's enjoyed watching. Well, I thank you, Rosie, for being my partner in crime. <laughs> and I always love doing these types of events, even if they have to be virtual. <laughs> I love having you around. I love hearing your tips. Oh, I love you too, Mark. Always good to see you. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. Well, <laughs> you too. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. And you can find more looks and makeup inspiration on our social handles at Hourglass Cosmetics. We thank you all for joining us and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody.